Rocket Says Look Up by Nathan Bryan. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and wish upon a star. Mom tells me that I never stop looking up and my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. But mom says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the day I was born. There she is imagining that she has fiery breath. She's sitting with her mom. What are they doing? Her mom is combing her hair. Does Rocket look happy? No. She probably doesn't want her mom combing through her hair, but her mom has to make it look nice and pretty. All I know is that one day, I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space walker who has ever lived, like Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman in space. Peeking around, y'all see that? That's, that's a drawing of Mae Jemison. Did you know Mae Jemison went into orbit around Earth in a space shuttle called Endeavor, even though she is afraid of heights. Mae Jemison was afraid of heights and she still went all the way up to space. I'm totally prepared. I've defied gravity, captured rare and exotic forms, and built a ship to the stars. There she is swinging, defying that gravity. She's caught <laughs> rare and exotic life forms. What's that in the jar? It's a butterfly. And she's built her very own rocket. For today's mission, I'm going to see something incredible. The Phoenix Meteor Shower. I want everyone to see it with me, so I've made some flyers to hand out. There she is telling all her little buddies about the meteor shower. Y'all see her flyers that she made? They look cool. Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower. But first, we have to go to the supermarket. While he is looking for the milk, I will be trying to find the astronaut food. Did you know meteor showers happen when Earth moves through the trail of dust left by a comet? So meteor showers are when Earth travels through a trail of dust left behind by a comet. And Rocket and her brother are going to see the meteor shower tonight. This night. Did you know most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand? Did you know? Did you know meteors are bits of dust burning up from the atmosphere? Did you know the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark with no clouds? In the market, when Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. She grabbed the microphone when Kathy wasn't looking. Uh-oh, Rocket. For one night only, come out and witness the amazing Phoenix Meteor Shower! And everyone looks up. 
Kathy takes her microphone back as I hand out my flyers to the other people in line. I think Jamal might be a tiny bit annoyed with me. Do y'all see Jamal? There he is. There's Jamal. Does Jamal look happy right now? Not really. Jamal looks a little annoyed. The Phoenix Meteor Shower will be coming soon. We'd better drop off the shopping and get to the park fast. Look out! Oh no, what happened? Jamal, he wasn't looking! And he got splashed with some water. Uh-oh, Jamal. Ha-ha! <laughs> that wouldn't have happened if you had just looked up. Y'all see Rocket laughing at her brother? It's kind of funny, but we shouldn't laugh when those things happen to our friends and family. Now Jamal is even more annoyed with me, and he says he won't take me to the park anymore. Uh-oh. Oh, no. But when we get home, Mom saves the day. Come on, Jamal, she says. Put the phone down and take your little sister to the park. Mama saved the day. Yes! I jump up and do my famous victory dance around the room. Do you guys have a victory dance? Jump up and let me see it. There he is, looking annoyed, and there she is doing her victory dance. What does your victory dance look like? I grab my jetpack backpack, but Jamal is still glued to his game. Wait till I complete this level, Rocket, he grumbled. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wow! It's half of the people from my street. They're all holding my flyers. To the park, I yelled at the top of my lungs. Everyone is so excited. They are on their way to the park. See the meteor shower. My neck is aching from staring up into the night sky. But I won't stop. I can't miss it. Suddenly, the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. Everyone points their telescopes and binoculars up at the sky. Everyone but Jamal, who is still looking down at his phone. Look up, Jamal. His face is glued to his phone. He, he needs to look up. I think I see it, I shout. But it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and wait and wait. One by one, some people start to leave. Y'all see it? It's less and less people. The group is getting smaller. Maybe the Phoenix meteor shower was a myth after all. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone is upset with me for wasting their time. Does Rocket look happy? No. She looks kind of sad. Y'all see her? That's a sad face. She's not feeling too good right now. I've never felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today. It feels like the first time ever. I've turned my phone off, sis, he says. 
I'm sorry for making you wait for nothing, Jamal. Let's go home. Suddenly, there's a big, bright light in the sky. What do you think it is? What can it be? That big, bright light up in the sky. Look up! The Phoenix Meteor Shower! I'm speechless, Jamal says. He pulls out his thermos and pours me a cup of hot chocolate. Yummy. There it is, you guys. There's the meteor shower. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know one day I'm going to have a meteor shower named after me? The end. I hope you guys enjoyed Rocket Says Look Up.